Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Let's continue with our Townsman series. If you have no idea what's going on, then I would recommend you watching um, our teaser video for the big Townsman update, which you can find here. So, it's me again. My name is still Jan and I'm still a tester here at Handy Games and today I will present you the new military features. So, let's fire up my save game and let me show you the awesome new features. There it is. Welcome to Bandatown, where law and order are not existent, but we will stand up for our poor little townies and do something against it. So, as you can see with this new icon over here, there is currently a bandit um, in the infirmary and robbing them, which is not very nice. Let us see what else they are doing. Oh, look at this little house here. Another bandit is inside and robbing the poor townies. Okay, so let's do something against those bandits. We have two new buildings for the military. The first one is the barracks and the second one is a guard tower. So the first thing we need to do is build the barracks. Let's do that and put it over here. Now we don't have enough workers, but that's no problem. Just build another house. Put it over here in my little district with the other houses. And now we can fill up the worker slot. So the barracks provide um, your guard towers with the resources needed for a strong army. Those are um, armor, as you can see over here, swords or weapons, sausages, and some brew. The barracks um, has a, an influence radius which you can see over here by pressing um, the I button. So we need to build our guard tower in this influence radius in order for it to be effective. Let's just do that and build. Uh, now it's also important that our guard tower covers a lot of buildings yeah that's okay okay now we have built our first guard tower as you can see it has um, two worker slots and here on the top right corner you can see which resources are currently sitting in the tower the more resources we have the stronger our army is um, for that we also added a new statistics tab which you can find um, here on the white and blue shield Currently our combat power is very low at 0%, that's because we have no brew, no weapons, no sausages and no armors. You can also see down here um, how, many, how many buildings are covered by our guard tower and how many inactive soldiers we have, how many active soldiers we have and how many barracks and guard towers we have in total. Alright, so let's continue with our production chain. Let's start with the sausages. We already have a pig farm, so the next step now would be to build a butcher's workshop. The butcher's workshop is also a new building. It can provide your townies with some meat or it can produce sausages. But we have no townies left to fill up the worker slot, so let's just build another house and put it in our little district over here getting a bit crowded but that's no problem all right so let's fill up the worker slot produce some sausages now okay so sausages check next step some weapons and armor okay let's look for the armor there it is let's build that up Armory has also two worker slots, one um, for providing you with weapons and one for the armors. Okay, but we also need some leather. The leather is collected by your, um, what's it called, the hunter's cabin. It provides you with um, heights, but in order to um, transform the heights into leather, we have to build a tannery. Let's build that also over here. And now we are set. Tanner. Tannery has only, only one worker slot. Now the armory is filled with 
two worker slots. So we are set. Last step would be to get us some brew. The brew is produced by the monastery. Okay, now it's getting a little bit tight. Put it over here. Doesn't look very beautiful, but I think it gets the job done. Now, the monastery, also a new building. You have one worker for producing or collecting the um, hops and another one for producing the brew. And we have still, or again, no more... Oh, a plague broke out. Let's just fix that with cure all. Yep. And we are done. No plague in my town for today. Yes, monastery. So, monastery also has two worker slots, as said before, one for collecting hops and one for producing some brew, but we have no workers left, so let's just build another house. Now let's have another look at our military tab. Okay, so now you can see the combat power um, increased by 25%. We still have zero brew, zero weapons and zero armor. It takes quite some while to produce all the goods, but it's okay. We will use the time now to build up more guard towers. Uh, okay, this guard tower over here is filled up. Let's see if the influence radius of the barracks is enough to put a tower over here. Yeah, it's okay. So, the influence radius. Um, as you can see, now it's still okay to build the guard tower over here. It will be covered by the barracks. But if I put it over here, there is a small icon um, appearing over the guard tower, which indicates that the guard tower is not in range, of, in range of the barracks. So, we will just put it over here. Okay. Fill up the soldier slot. Now we have two towers and an army of four which is nice already but let's just build another tower hmm. oh, where is some space oh what's that music Ooh, that music indicates that there is a bandit raid going on that's interesting so i can just show you what happens if the military is confronted with some bandits Ah, nice. Oh wow, that was fast. That bandit over here. Let's follow him around. He just beat up our soldier. Seems he, seems he is a little bit too weak now. Oh, and there are still some raids going on. Ay ay ay, it's full out on all out wolf warfare going on here over here. Okay, let's just see. 1v1. Oh, and we lost again. Yeah, as it seems, our soldiers are still very weak and losing all the fights. But that's okay, we will just produce some more goods and weapons. Let's see how many we have. Still zero brew and weapons and armor. Well, maybe it's a good idea to visit the marketplace and buy some stuff. How about uh, 20 weapons, maybe? Yes. 20 armor. Uh, some more sausages, a little bit more brew, and if we are here already we can sell something too, which we have overproduced, uh, those gold bars for example, yep. a little bit more ore, alright, now we are set, look over here, that bandit is raiding the little house, that's not very nice of him. Okay. What is the barracks saying? Still missing some armor and brew. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Then our military power should go up. Okay, we are currently at 29%. That's okay. But still a lot to go. And that big house over here has also been raided right now. And as you can see, my soldiers are currently a little bit beat up which is marked by those stars over their head. So they still have to recover before they can engage the bandits again. Yes, ah, they are stealing all the stuff. OK, 
Okay. Where is he going? Let's follow him around. Maybe zoom in a bit. Uh-huh. Going into the woods. Ah, and there it is. The bandit camp. There, the bandits are going and putting away their resources. These bandit camps can also be attacked by your soldiers, of course, so you can get rid of the bandits once and for all. But since our soldiers are still recovering and we still need a little bit more combat power, we just have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so let's fill the worker slot of the third tower. Now we have an army of six. Maybe we should buy a little bit more weapons and sausages. Yeah, we need more. Oh, we need more brew. Now those soldiers drink quite a lot. Who would have thought? Oh. Uh, how many weapons do we have? 20 and 19 armor. That's alright. So far so good. Okay, let's have another look after on the military tab. Combat power at 65% already. That's nice. But we need a bigger army. Let's build another tower. Mm -hmm. Is there some space maybe where we will cover a lot of buildings? Uh, not really. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's put it here. Okay, we need more soldiers. Just rinse it and repeat what we did before and build another house. Fill up the tower. Okay, the trader is veining. Brew is there. Weapons are there. I think we are set. Let's have another look at the combat power. 66%. Okay, let's speed the time up a bit. Okay. What does the military set? Uh, 68%. Okay, it's growing a little bit slower. But we have 8 of 8 soldiers available now. You know what? We just try it. Let's try to fend off those bandits. Send over four guys. Okay, so now our soldiers are on their way to the bandit camp and hopefully they will return victorious and fend off that wretched little scum. Okay, let's speed up again. One soldier there, two soldiers. Three soldiers, four soldiers, and it's on battle time. Four v four, four versus four. We just beat up one bandit. Oh, we lost one soldier. Okay, let's have a look. Three versus three now. It's looking good. Yes, another bandit down. They blocked that. Oh, we just lost another soldier. Two versus two. It's gonna be a close battle, I think. They missed, they blocked. Another miss. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we lost another soldier. Yes, that's good. They lost another bandit. Come on, bro, you can do it. Yes, he did it. Wonderful. We are victorious. Bandits, zero. Mayor of town, one. Yes, we have been victorious. So now we have one bandit camp down, but there might be some more bandit camps on the map. They are spawning randomly. Yes, look over there. Up here in the north, there's another one. We could, we could now send over uh, the rest of our soldiers and fight them off and get rid of the bandits. But I will just leave it here. We have now four guard towers set up and they will now automatically uh, fend off any incoming bandit raids and hopefully they can win now since our combat power is already at 87% now. 
All right, I would say let's conclude it here. That's it for the military update or the military features. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, as always, like and subscribe to our channel and see you next time.